Developing at 6, police hope new information could breathe new life into the cold case of the so-called I-70 serial killer. The I-70 killer was responsible for the murders of at least six people across three states in the spring of 1992. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Kelly Jackson. And for Mike Bush, those victims include a woman in St. Charles. The I-team's Christine Byers explains how police are hoping to crack the case. For years, all police had to go on was the eyewitness description of a man who came face to face with the killer in Wichita, Kansas. Police say the man encountered the killer after he had just murdered two women inside a bridal shop there. The witness worked with police on this sketch, describing the man as between 5'7 and 5'9 with dull red hair between the ages of 22 and 32 years old. One week after that encounter, the killer struck again, this time at the Boot Village in St. Charles, where Nancy Kitzmiller was found shot to death. She was just 24 years old. The St. Charles Police Department released an aged-enhanced image of the sketch this week. Take a good look. The department is also planning to convene a meeting in November involving police departments across three states where the murders occurred. Their investigators plan to review the evidence they have, hoping advances in forensic science could also help solve the cases. The St. Charles Police Department is offering a $25,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest in this case. Call 1-800-800-3510 if you have any information that can help with this investigation. To learn more about the victims and the killer's possible connection to killings in Texas, you can read my full report online at KSDK.com. For the I-Team, Christine Byers, 5 on your side.